Tech is back and today is Thursday. Woo. So I just came back from work at Macca's. It was my second shift today. As you know, I'm working at Macca's in Montana, which is awesome. I was on fries today and I was on fries yesterday as well. And it was basically just making sure we could work on fries by ourselves rather than with a working person. So I passed that, um, which means I can now work on fries by myself. So I don't have to work until not next week, but the week after. So hopefully I remember. In answer to your statements and observations and such, Chrissy and I did not go to the pool room on Saturday. We decided because we were really lazy and we'd gone to the pool room a lot during the week that we'd just stay home and have like a drinking night. So Chrissy and myself, Stanners, or Kathy, her name's Kathy, but Stanners, Teabagger, or Peter T. Um, was there, Trenton? No, Trenton wasn't there, I'm sorry, he came in the morning. Nick Wilmington, Jeff Bradley, and Nick Paul. We all went and we played King, which is a drinking game where you have like a deck of cards and you have like a King's Cup and stuff. I'm sure you all have known of it. If not, just research it or something. Or next time we're having a drinking night, we will play it and you will be there. But anyways, we're playing that and it was really cool. We got to a stage where um, Jess Bradke had to just sit in her underwear, like her undies and bra. And so that was really cool. Not really. But it was like, oh yeah. And everyone was picking on it. And then I got, um, I picked up a card which meant that I had to make a rule. So I made the rule that everyone but myself had to be in their bras and undies or just undies if you were a guy. And so everyone did. And then Chrissy's mum came in. And Christina's mum was like, that could be unfair, don't you think? You should be in your bras on these two. And I was like, oh. But anyways, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that was Saturday night. Uh, I worked also Friday and Saturday night last week. And this week I worked on Friday and Saturday as well. I already worked on Monday, but it wasn't really a big shift. Um, my sister is coming down tomorrow from Sunbury, Jack, she's coming down, so that's pretty awesome. I get to pick her up from the train station in Borneo, and I'm just going to, like, feel her for a bit, which will be really cool and such. Yeah. I really have nothing to tell you because I've really been doing nothing, apart from the fact that I've been reading Harry Potter. I'm up to the Goblet of Fire, and I know you haven't, like, read through all of the books, so I'm not going to tell you anything that spoils it. But I'm just the Goblet of Fire, and you've already seen this movie, and I've already seen this movie, but it really shocks me to see how much I pick up that they've missed in the movies from when I was, like, because I read these books when I was, like, 10 or 11, like, really young. And so to see what they've missed now that the movies have come out is really, like, awesome. Well, not awesome, but it was really cool. So I'm getting through those and zooming through them. Christy and I are not seeing part one beforehand in movies. We might watch it, like, on DVD beforehand, because we have it on DVD, so we might watch it beforehand, but, um, yeah, we're not going to see it. Apparently, Village Cinemas are doing all seven, so if you go in, like, the day before, it's, like, a, a, an all seven marathon of them all, with, like, a, like half an hour in between all of them, so that'd be pretty cool, apart from you'd be really tired, and by the time you get to the next movie, you just, like, zone, zone out and die. Um... Yeah, so are you going to consider reading the books yet, or have you already read the books? Last time I checked, you hadn't read the books, I and mean, when we went to, um, uh, no, it was Half-Blood Prince, no, it was one, no, it was Half-Blood Prince, and we went to the movies, and Jess Bradley came out, and, spoiler for anyone that hasn't seen Half-Blood Prince, and she's like, it's so sad when Dumbledore dies, and you're like, what? And we were just like, shit, because we pretty sure you would have read the books, but you haven't. So do you remember that, Zach? You should get on to reading the books, because I think you'd like them. Even though I'm sure there was a reason for you not reading, watching them in the first place. Cool. So I am done. I am going to leave now. Um, I'll see you on Monday. Uh, for everyone else, Beck is back on Monday. Um, yeah. <laughs> see you later, guys.